child marriage survivor executed for murdering husband in Iran. On July 27th, three women were convicted and charged with killing their husbands and were executed in Iranian prisons. These three women were part of a recent execution spree that took the lives of 32 people in a single week. Sohela uh, uh, Badi, a former child bride who had married her husband around the age of 15 and was convicted in 2015, roughly 10 years after the marriage, was hanged to death in uh, Sanan Sanandal, no, Sanandal Central Prison. According to Sharia law, the victim's family decides the punishment for the accused charged with murder. They can choose between retaliation in kind, blood money, and forgiveness. It is reported that Iran executes more women than any other country worldwide. Many of these women charged with killing their spouses had violent and abusive husbands and were married to them as children. Many activists proclaim that the penal system of Iran is biased against women who are deprived of the right to indef independently file for a divorce, even when they experience domestic violence and abuse. Yeah, um, the blood money law in Iran is really crazy. Yeah. Basically, there's no judge involved. There's no due process involved. It's like, there's no, like, yeah, the... The family wants you dead, so you die. Um, yeah. But so, wait. Child marriage survivor. So when did she do this uh, crime? So she was convicted in 2015. Mm -hmm. And so when she was convicted, it was when she was around the age of uh, 25. And I'm not exactly sure when she committed the murder, but reportedly okay, but she, she was married also, at the age of 15. Oh, so she was married at the age of 15. And when did she kill her husband? Because uh, of abuse. Okay. Uh, by the way, I heard the, the executions in Iran have really picked up recently. Like yes. really picked up. And some people say it's because the prisons are overflowing. So they're, oh God. so they're just trying to make space. That's so messed up. Yeah. Because there's so many videos of prisons that are supposed to be like, when you hear, I don't remember the numbers, but like this prison is, this is the occupancy and this is the actual number of prisoners. In it. And it's like, Oh, well, crazy. that's very well known. The photos of Iranian prison or, prisons are freaking crazy. It's like men just packed in there like sardines. I mean, it's not as bad and, as the Salvadorian prison, but it's pretty bad. Yeah. And sleeping like the beds are not enough and everybody's like sleeping on the, like so many people are sleeping on the floor right next to each other is like crazy. And then that's like, that's day and night. And like a, a video just recently came out of like, from one of these prisons and somebody was like recording i don't know how he got a phone it was like the first time a video came out from that prison and the guy was like they're executing us they're executing all of us and they're, co every they're coming for yes, us every you day yes you saw that wait no you have to unpack that for me give okay no give, give us full context full breakdown no so this guy was recording himself from this prison in Qom, and is a city in iran and mm -hmm. Like he was showing, by the way, in the background, there were so many people. Like you see, like this, this prison is overflowing, right? But he was like, I mean, but he was like, um, yeah, they're coming for us and like killing us every day. Like it seemed like this is something shocking to them because they're like, they were in this prison for a while, but they're noticing that they're like every day, like there's less of them. And the guy was like, they took my brother. Like the guy was recording Aww. himself. Like my brother is like, like he'd like come help us. My brother's gonna die. My brother's innocent. They came for him today. They're gonna execute him. They're like taking us one by one. And you're like, they just like they think like they're just being executed. Just I don't know, God, randomly. Yeah. I don't know. No. Okay. So it is really crazy. So um, Amnesty International said that there's been a horrific execution spree in the recent months, reportedly putting more than 250 people to death in the first six months of 2022, which is more than double those who were executed during the same period the previous year yeah so yeah that's that's insane yeah but imagine like being in prison and not like just after being there for a while and then after you, on a certain day you start noticing that like 
they're just like taking out people and you don't know if you're going to be next. That's kind of scary just sitting there and then being so desperate and sending out a video to the outside world to please come help us. These people are like these people. Well, yeah. Are, what uh, do we have to lose? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, so messed up. I think one part of the article that I read about this that I thought was really poignant was um, people making the point that the justice system is uniquely stacked against women because they have absolutely no form of recourse when they are experiencing abuse within a marriage to like leave. And so mm. when they are eventually forced just for out of their own self-preservation to murder their husband, then every aspect of the judicial system itself is also stacked against them. Saying because obviously Islamic law would is not <laughs> it itself is going to be very biased against women for doing something like that. And but so they, they never stood a chance, essentially. They never stood a chance. Yeah. Um also by the way, Iran is uh, the number one um when it comes to per capita, so when it comes to ranking, China does the highest number of execution uh, in total number, and Iran is number two. But given that Iran's population is significantly less, Iran is number one if you adjust it by population. So per capita, Iran executes more people than any other country. Any other? Oh, country. it's like severely disproportionate. They really blow everyone else out of the water. It's crazy. Um, yeah. And there was also another report um that only 16.5 percent of executions that are carried out are actually announced by officials only 16.5 percent so the numbers that we have are probably just infinitesimal in comparison to what's actually going on hmm. atheist republic needs your help we have been the target of many legal attacks by hindu nationalists ever since our founder armin Abhabi blasphemed against hindu deities we have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.